Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And guys, I hope you are enjoying the lectures on this channel. And in the previous video, we were discussing about how to draw the influence line diagram for the maximum bending moment. And in the previous video, I have dealt with the concept of drawing the influence line diagram for the maximum bending moment with the example of the point load. And guys, today in this video, I am going to discuss about how to draw the influence line diagram for the maximum bending moment when we will be provided with the UDL. So guys, there will be two cases, one when our UDL or the load is longer than the span and another the load is shorter than the span. If you guys haven't liked this channel, then do like the channel and if you are new to this channel, then do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon if you do not want to miss any updates and without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, uh, as I mentioned earlier that there are two cases for the influence line diagram for the UDL and the they are first one is when the load is longer than a span of girder and the second one is when the load is shorter than a span and guys here in this video i will be discussing about both the cases one by one with the suitable example on both the cases so first of all let us discuss about how to draw the influence line diagram when the load is longer than the span we will first go through the concept and then we will uh, have an example based upon that concept so first uh, when the load is longer than the span so guys here as i am discussing when the load is longer than the span and to calculate the maximum bending moment at the section c so i have drawn a girder a b of span l and at point c we will need to draw the maximum bending moment for that uh, if you have watched my previous video you can easily draw the um, bending moment or the influence line diagram for the maximum bending moment at a given section which is similar to the uh, which we have uh, done in the lecture 6 so let us draw the influence line diagram here for the maximum bending moment it is going to form a triangle here and with height and the value of height if you have uh, watched lecture 6 then you can reply what will be the value of or uh, sorry height of this influence line diagram if not then watch this here I am going to explain here suppose uh, the distance of this point C is at distance A from our left support then the span of is uh, then the span CB will be equals to L minus A is it clear or not this whole span minus this A or the span of AC will give us a span of CB which will be equals to L minus A and suppose let us suppose that L minus A is equals to B then what we will have here the height of this influence line diagram will be equals to multiple of both the span AC and CB that is A dot B divided by whole span and the whole span is equals to L. I hope you understood this step and now after drawing this influence line diagram uh, we are discussing about the load longer than span so how we will calculate the value of the maximum bending moment that I am going to show you here. One thing more here guys uh, as our lo load means our UDL is longer than span means the span AB will be completely loaded by our UDL because the load is longer than span means whole UDL will be acting on span AB as the load is longer means load can exceed this span also and uh, may exceed at the top of at front of this span or makes it at the back of the span and we will need to consider the load up, up to the span of this given girder so uh, again suppose this is UDL W kilo Newton per meter and we will need to consider the portion of this UDL uh, of the span uh, equal to the span of the girder and the span of girder is L and we have drawn the influence line diagram so the value of the maximum bending moment diagram uh, when 
our load is longer than span is given by load is multiplied by the area of this both area under this triangle and the area of area of this triangle is going to be half times base and the base is, is, is span of the base is equal to l times height and the height of this influence line diagram is ab upon l so multiply this by ab upon l this a uh, l and l get gets gets cancelled so we will have w ab upon 2 this is going to be the value of maximum bending moment when our load is longer than span and guys now let us have a, 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 a view toward an example based upon the similar concept so first let me write the question and then we will solve this uh, for the load longer than span so the question is a live load of 160 kN moves on a simply supported girder of a span 12 meter find the maximum bending moment which can occur at the section 4 meter from the left end so first of all let us draw a girder of a span 12 meter so guys here i have drawn a girder ab whose span is 12 meter now further the question says find the maximum bending moment which can occur at a section 4 meter from the left end and a is our left support so from left support we need to consider a section which is let us suppose that the section we consider a section c which is 4 meter away from the sub left support which is a this is 4 meter now as per the uh, previous concept we have come to know that the value of a is going to be 4 meter now the value of b we can calculate the value of b this is the will be the difference between the whole span minus this span of ac so 12 minus 4 is going to be our 8 meter so guys now we have come to know the value of a and b now draw the influence line diagram for the maximum bending moment which we have done in previous lecture also and uh, i have dealt with the concept related to that uh, previously here and now if we draw the influence line diagram then it will be of this manner see here guys now we need to calculate the height of this influence line diagram and the height of influence line diagram will be the multiple of both span divided by the span of of the girder ab so multiple of both span ac and cb is going to be 4 multiplied by 8 divided by the whole span is 12 meter so on solving this we will get 8 by 3 now guys after calculating the height of this influence line diagram how we can know whether the question which we are given is of the type load longer than span or load shorter than span we can easily know when we are provided with the udl and the span of udl is given or not if the span of udl is not given it means this is the case of load longer than span for calculating the maximum bending moment and guys if our udl or the live load span is given suppose the span of the suppose a girder is 12 meter here and we may be given that the live load is of the span 5 meter or 6 meter or 10 meter it means that obviously it is clear that our live load is smaller than this span so in that case we will need to use the second condition but here we are simply given the live load and the span is given a span of the girder is given a span of udl is not given here so now uh, replace this udl here on the girder here the step to uh, place the udl on the girder is similar which we have discussed here so our udl will be of this manner this will cover the whole girder and the girder and the loading of the girder or the udl is 160 kilonewton per meter now guys you are smart enough now you can tell me what will be the value of uh, udl here sorry maximum bending moment here so we can write here we will have maximum bending moment equals to intensity of load means 160 times area of this triangle and the area of this triangle is going to be half times base is 12 meter so 12 is multiplied by height is 8 upon 3 8 upon 3 
so on solving this we will get the value of maximum bending moment in the case when our load is longer than a span and which will be equals to 2560 kN meter i hope you understood this step now let us move toward the example or the second condition which is for the load shorter than a span and again for that case we will first understand the concept about how we need to draw the influence line diagram when the load is shorter than a span and then i will again show you an example based upon that concept 